Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Martin, and welcome to 2K Central. Oh my goodness, the, the Mafia 3 hype train keeps on chugging. So I'm gonna do a breakdown of E3's two minute trailer. I did a breakdown of the teaser trailer a few days ago, which contains footage from this trailer, so to avoid repeating myself, I won't be discussing those clips that were in the previous trailer. So here we go. So we are immediately given the courtroom scenario through the lens of a documentary in which John Donovan is being questioned. Now, a missable detail is the evidence board in the back, which we can see Sal Marcano on the top and his underbosses beneath him, uh, which consist of his family. In the middle is Sal's brother, Uncle Lou. On the right is his other brother, Tommy. And on the left is Sal's sister-in-law, who is currently unnamed, but I do think she is the crazy looking woman later in the trailer with blood all over her hands. Tony DiRezzo is directly beneath Uncle Lou. And the other two, I'm not exactly sure who they are. Um, here is John Donovan, who's a CIA agent who accompanied Lincoln in Vietnam. Uh, Donovan specializes in gathering intelligence. So once Lincoln returns from the war and is ambushed by the Marcano family, shot in the head but survives, Lincoln then contacts this man, Donovan, for details on Marcano and his whole organization. So he's extremely important to the overall story. One thing I did notice was he seems rather boastful about his contribution to the death of the Marcanos. Okay, once again, we get another view of Georgie burning Sammy's bar, which we got in the previous trailer. We also get Father James saving Lincoln from the fire and mending him back to health. But uh, Lincoln is woken up by a news anchor stating they've recorded the largest amount of casualties in the Vietnam War, which pains Lincoln to hear. We then see Lincoln going downstairs to the basement to find his locker, which is presumably filled with his supplies from the army. Alright, so this is a very interesting little clip with Sammy Robinson. When Lincoln returned from Vietnam, he was actually planning to say goodbye to the black mob and avoid a life of crime, but Sammy asked for one last favor. And in the trailer, Sammy says, do this quiet, away from here, which I interpreted as a request to assassinate someone or at the very least dispose of a body for Sammy, but make sure no one knows the black mob is involved. So once Lincoln completes the task, that's when we see this little celebration among the black mob and Sal Marcano. So it seems quite likely that Sal told Sammy to kill a specific person and that would form a bond between the two families. But then Sal betrayed them, killing two birds with one stone to some extent. Oh, what a dick. All right, so here we see Lincoln picking up his supplies from the army. Interesting little note, Lincoln has a Bible within his little locker. For those who don't know, Lincoln is an orphan and once the orphanage closed down, Lincoln found comfort in the church with Father James but he soon fell in with Ellis and Sammy, the black mob, and kind of turned his back on the church. And why I'm telling you this will make more sense a little later in the video. And we also see Lincoln picking up his military knife, which we've seen him use so much in previous gameplay to brutal effect, but it's a significant moment. It's Lincoln's choice to be strong after his biggest moment of weakness. Oh God, that was cheesy. And here we see John Donovan doing what he does best, gathering information. So he's bugged phone lines and is listening in on the Marcano family to help Lincoln exploit any weaknesses that he may find. So once again, it showcases how important he really is. He is very much the brains of the operation while Lincoln is the muscle. Okay, so we get a little bit of Cassandra in the trailer and she is stating a line from the Bible, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. So that's why I brought up the importance of Lincoln being religious previously. This clip is actually the first meeting between Lincoln and Cassandra, well, first one-on-one -on -one at least. So Lincoln is attempting to form an alliance with the Haitians, and how he does this, he clearly bonds with Cassandra through the use of the Bible and God, which obviously isn't the sole reason they form an alliance, but it's something the two have in common, which is vital in regards to forming friendships with people in general. So Lincoln really does have some good people skills, oddly, despite all the murdering. And in this clip, we see Lincoln looking at himself in the mirror, uh, giving himself a haircut. Uh, clearly, clips like this aren't that simple. In terms of writing, everything has a purpose or symbolizes something the character is going through. And Lincoln is shaving his head here, similar to what he did during his time with the military in Vietnam. He's given himself a close cut. Strangely, it represents Lincoln is ready to go to war again, only this time it's against the Marcano family. Once again, we see the scene between Father James and Lincoln, in which Father James is trying to make Lincoln see reason and that the path of vengeance won't bring his second family back, but clearly those words are kind of wasted on Lincoln. In the previous trailer, we hear Father James kind of give in and say, kill Sal, but let that be the end of it. But Lincoln replies with, it's not enough, while well, he screams it. So expect this throughout the game, Father James being Lincoln's voice of reason and Lincoln completely ignoring good advice. 
Alright, so the plot thickens, guys. This is McGuire, who is an FBI agent slash detective that is very much obsessed with taking down Lincoln Clay. It becomes his life mission to clear the city of corruption and crime. Uh, we presumed it was Donovan because they hadn't mentioned a Maguire previously, so they kept that hidden well from us. But it makes so much more sense now that Maguire is attempting to take down Lincoln. Uh, what's interesting about what Maguire says, it took him months to realise Lincoln had survived the massacre and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. So prior to Lincoln, Maguire was very much following Sal's actions and was gathering enough evidence to take him down. And then along came Lincoln, this wild card, who just started taking out everyone. And Maguire soon realised that Lincoln was indeed the biggest threat to the city. We get a, a great shot here of what seems to be a rundown church that has graffiti on the wall. One thing that has really stood out to me is there's a lot of religious themes in the trailer. It's quite interesting. Now we finally get to hear Burke's voice, which thank goodness finally debunks the theory that Burke is Joe. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Burke sounds almost exactly as I guess we assumed he would, stereotypically Irish. What's interesting is we get another religious remark from Burke. He says, Jesus Christ on the cross, I thought you were dead. We can assume he's referring to Lincoln surviving the ambush at Sammy's bar, but that might also mean that both Burke and Lincoln had met prior to the massacre of the Black Mob, which seems kind of odd to me. And here is Lincoln getting ready to rumble. Um, as I said, cage fighting is a possible side activity and a set piece mission, so it's introduced through a main mission. And here we see a continuation of a clip from the story trailer. Uh, based on this image, Cassandra just got finished torturing someone with a knife you can see the blood on her hand and it does seem like she got some information from this person that she really didn't want to hear and got a little too brutal with it to the point in which someone else had to intervene which is how her top gets torn ever so slightly and this is kind of confirmed based on what both characters say next the guy states it's over meaning the torture is finished and the guy is dead while Cassandra applies with It's never going to be over So it's a very dark scene guys and oddly it's the first of two torture scenes in this trailer And here is the cistern which is a gang racket in the game which we've kind of covered extensively And here we get our good old pal Vito and the same torture scene we got in the previous trailer We just get a little more context for what's going on In this trailer he is in the middle of torturing the man and he's trying to find out who gave the order in the previous trailer, we receive our answer. Uh, Vito says, We're getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. So this is the last straw for Vito. His relationship with Sal was poor prior to this. So now that Sal wants him dead, Vito is given extra motivation to cut ties with him. So this is possibly the mission right after Lincoln and him come to an agreement. And once again, we get a continuation of the scene between Sal and his son Georgie, arguing over not finishing Lincoln off. As Sal shouts, you shot him once. Which from the previous trailer, it seems like Sal has learned from a prior mistake that shooting someone once is too much of a risk. So that's something worth noting. Okay, so this this was an odd one. So out of context, we get a clip of who I presume is Sal's sister-in-law. I, I have no idea who else it could be, but one thing is obvious. She comes across as quite the nutter who is fascinated by her bloody hand. Clearly a crazy person. But yeah, I think she is Sal's sister-in-law. So uh, we get to this scene, which we assumed would take place in the game. Honestly, this is controversial, clearly, but it would be extremely false if they ignored it completely. If they're staying true to the time by including the music, cars, guns, clothing styles from that specific time in history, then it wouldn't be that genuine for them to ignore the presence of the KKK. And one thing I will note, it needs to be done well. So I hope they cover it properly. They can't just have guys with white hoods running around as random NPCs. It's just, it's not gonna fly. But it's gonna be fun killing those guys. There's a positive. And here we get Vito again. I assume it is him with the scar and hair, but I swear Vito looks completely different in almost every clip. It's super confusing. And I assume this is Vito being saved by Lincoln, just based on the shadow. It's the same clothing Vito was in previously, except he has his classic brown jacket. But once again, Vito looks completely different from the previous clips. I really wish there was some consistency in the way he looks, but I guess we're just forced to deal with it. But I believe this could be one of the first interactions between Vito and Lincoln. And here we get Tony DiRezzo getting thrown through the window of the Royal Hotel by Lincoln Clay. That is clearly the face of a man soiling himself midair. But in all seriousness, we kind of knew this would be the outcome for Tony. Still kind of feels like an unnecessary spoiler in my opinion. But based on what Hangar 13 have said, there will be an option to force Tony to work for you which to me seems kind of risky. And we've reached the final clip once again. Now the interesting thing 
about the scene this time around. The body and the placement of the gun is completely different to the previous scene in the teaser trailer, which confirms that choices change the outcome of this situation specifically or at the very least determine which character dies in this situation. But yeah guys, we've come to the end of the trailer breakdown. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative. If there's anything I didn't touch on, uh, do let me know in the comments, I'd love to see it. But overall, an excellent trailer once again. Bravo to Hangar 13, they really know how to make a trailer. Let's hope the game itself is on the same level. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Mafia 3 will be released October 7th on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Stay tuned for more Mafia related content here on 2K Central. See you guys. Buzz bye bye.